The plan proposed by the superintendent would bring all elementary students back to the classroom by the end of next month. But before that happens, coronavirus data needs to meet a certain criteria and the board will decide what that criteria is and vote on a reentry plan tomorrow. It's, it really is a roll of the dice. The decision of what happens next affects tens of thousands of students, teachers, and parents, and it lies heavily in the Guilford County School Board's hands. I'm watching a lot of things, and I'm concerned about a lot of things. Guilford County Schools Board member Byron Gladden says he's still not sure how he'll vote on the proposal. That plan, outlined by Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras, has students going back gradually. October 20th would mark the first day for all of pre-K through second grade, five days a week. Sixth grade would also return then, but for in-person learning just twice a week. On October 26th, third through fifth grade returns full time, with seventh and eighth graders also going back to the classroom, but only twice a week. As for high schoolers, they wouldn't return to the classroom until January 20th. The Guilford County Association of Educators says it's too soon to send kids back to the classroom, sending this letter to the superintendent and school board asking to stay in plan and see with any return to class being voluntary. No matter how much we want to return, COVID-19 will disrupt that return if we don't do it right. Students and staff will get sick. Some will die. Some will have long-term health complications from the disease. The school board meeting starts at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and a vote will be taken. And if coronavirus criteria is not where the board wants it to be in the first few weeks of October, the approved re-entry plans could change.